coming guys we have to bear in mind that the euro bubble is strong sell all right so we're looking at euro weakness today and it might just be the fact that the euro is unwinding from its uh, risk proxy so we're very much risk on um, but yet the euro is falling and the reason for that is simply uh, well to do with Lagarde's um, retracted statement um, she was saying that she, well, that she was quite hawkish at the meeting but it caused so much volatility and the euro went a bit parabolic and she's actually um, retracted that statement uh, over the weekend um, so that coincides with the euro weakness that we're seeing uh, and also if they did raise interest rates in the ECB in the eurozone the banks the Italian banks and the Greek banks they might struggle to repay because they uh, we don't really want any credit defaults or any issues especially in um, in the poorer countries in Europe uh, so she re retracted her statement and that coincided with the retail guys going long the euro I assume from the meeting prior and so they went really long euro and so what's happened that we should see weakness in the euro and strength in the Aussie because you know you're looking for the strong versus weak so that being said um, we could just see an unwinding of risk and the euro so we can't think of the euro as being like a risk proxy um, so don't look at that as a correlation we'll look at it sentimentally and perhaps even maybe fundamentally from Lagarde's comments right so you've got the euro USD unwinding and the euro Oz it's also doing the same um, I want to show you where our entry was and where I would personally get out it was at MR1 if you remember it was 114.37 uh, yeah around about here so what's happened is that we had a a lower volume node than the one prior this one is currently greater so this session should be bullish but of course it's perhaps being sentimentally driven and it might want to wipe out some stops so I'll talk about the stop loss clusters and um, I guess it can be quite a short video it doesn't need to be particularly long there's not much on the calendar um, here just do your balance of trade and uh, that's been and it was negative so uh, that was 39 minutes ago um, bubbles I talked about the economic calendar I talked about obviously tomorrow is going to be crucial so be careful tomorrow and so we can talk about the stop loss clusters so and I talked briefly about the euro and it's unwinding from its traditional risk proxy because it's sentimentally driven now and uh, perhaps fundamentally from you know like Lagarde comment right so let's bring this across um, see I would personally look to exit at 114.37 this is MR1 and um, we had an entry at just above or below I can't quite remember uh, but the TP is quite far down um, 13 yeah I think we were targeting around here area uh, but we're in good profits and it did chop a lot uh, we didn't get stopped out our stop was um, 114.60 so we came fairly close uh, so we were okay um, I think we're probably going to get one below 113.90 one above 114.85 we are a buy um, and it's sideways so it falling has been a little bit naughty um, but we can see dynamically the euro bubble is actually quite weak uh, go to the average bubble yeah so we've got weakness in the yen dollar swiss franc pound and euro strength in the aussie strength in the cad strength in gold so a bit of a tricky one um, so I covered the SLCs our market heat map what well, we can see we're risk on so that's that uh, go back to SLCs um, pound maybe um, right okay so we are a buy at the high level and they're selling it so it should be coming up um, so maybe this is coming down because of the euro it sometimes it follows the euro because it's um, you know it, it follows it in um, in hindsight it follows it like in its uh, on its coattails when the euro dumps the pound can follow sometimes uh, it's fairly common occurrence so this could fall in could be because of the euro um, yeah so there is that I mean I, I suppose we could look potentially buy above monthly pivot 13517 
got an ascending channel, uh, but a descending H1 channel, a descending H4 channel as well. Uh, one below, 13485, um, see the stop loss cluster there. One above is 135665. Um, th these blue things are stops being taken out, you would have seen in the public chat. Um, so that's that euro, not euro, dollar yen. And um, that's it, I guess. Uh, so I think what's interesting today, we're, we're seeing an unwinding of the euro and risk. So uh, we have to bear that in mind. 115.76 and below is 115 on the dot. So you know where to target. If you've got a bearish bias, it's dead on the round number. There's your monthly pivot support. So potentially down to take that. Um, and we've got support. So maybe liquidity probe and then technical support. Uh, however, we are buy at the high level and they're selling it. So we should be coming up. But if you had a bearish bias, that would be a good support. Um, or if you have a long bias, that would be a fairly decent stop. Perhaps maybe a bit wide, a bit too wide, maybe 53 stop, uh, pip stop. Uh, so that's that. Uh, anything else I need to show you quickly? Probably not, but just let me know if you want me to do any charts at all. Uh, I won't mind. And we had the buy signal on gold as well. Uh, that triggered at uh, 1810 or 1826. So, yeah. Oh, of course, yeah, the monthly pivot. <laughs> we did incredibly well. If you just keep an eye on your monthly pivots, and then you know you can enter the low risk and you get a big reward. As long as it doesn't chop a monthly pivot, you're okay. So, there's that launch, pretty much. That's like a Harami candle there off monthly pivot so what time is that one o'clock so yeah that's that so i'll wrap up now i uh, don't want to make it a long one and i'll be back tomorrow keep an eye on the euro we don't have to maybe think of it as a risk proxy so much it's more maybe sentimentally driven and of course if the euro oz falls then that is a risk on sign and we are currently risk on so as for the euro usd we have to just keep an eye on it i suppose and that's that so hopefully it helped and i'll speak to you later